Hi everyone, a very, very warm welcome to our learning event this afternoon. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes just talking about the background to the Panda project, but first a tiny bit about me. You can see I've got my camera on. I'm actually sitting in my kitchen at home because of the pandemic. Normally I would be in my office. Um, I'm a social worker by background, having lived in Northern Ireland since 1994. Um, I spent several years working as a social worker and a team manager, and then I was a guardian with the Guardian Ad Litem Agency. And I note that there are colleagues here from the agency today, so a very warm welcome to you too. So a little bit about our project. Our project, PANDA, is an acronym um, and forms around the words participation and collaboration in action. Our focus is on the participation rights of children who are 12 years and under. The reason for the focus has come about over a period of time. From our professional practice and from our academic work, we realise that there has been enormous progress with the participation rights of children and young people. However, we're also acutely aware that the participation rights of children aged 12 and under causes challenges for professionals across Europe. There remain many barriers um, to their full implementation. With that in mind, and using the UN Sustainable Development Goals and the UNCRC as our foundation blocks, we as educators and professionals have come together to help address this gap by working with professionals to formulate uh, new tools, methods and frameworks for our work with young children. Next slide, please, Lee. So who is involved in this project? There are eight partners, four universities Belgium, in Belgium, Norway, Northern Ireland and Spain. And there are four partners who are NGOs and other organisations working closely with children and young people in the partner countries. You can see there a website link to the project if you want to gather more information. Our objectives are fourfold. First of all, we want to try and help increase the competence of social workers and professionals working with young children. Secondly, we want to help create the conditions for participatory social work with young children. Thirdly, we want to implement a participatory approach. And fourthly, we want to provide trainers with tools and methods to stimulate participation. These objectives might seem um, rather big, <laughs> uh, but we're very hopeful in our collaboration together that we can make a difference in this area. We know from our work to date that there is a very keen interest to enable young children to share their views, their experiences and their feelings. And there is also an enormous commitment to making sure that those experiences, feelings and perspectives are center in all of the meetings that children have regarding their own lives. Um, and so we're very hopeful that, that we can make a big difference in terms of practice. Next slide, Lee, please. In terms of the things that we think will help, um, we're going to create a, a media library which pulls together existing policies and practices in this area. And it will contain podcasts, Vimeos, reports and reflections that explain specific methods and tools. Our second um, output will be a policy and management framework, which will guide managers and professionals regarding their work with young children. And the third thing, as I've already mentioned, is a toolkit for trainers. What we would really like to see is that training is uh, better implemented in social work degree programmes, but also in continuous professional development within organisations. Ultimately, the thing that we're really interested in um, and committed to is ensuring that our young children who have very valid 
experiences, perspectives and feelings are enabled to have their voice heard and that this voice is put at the centre of all of the decisions that are made about them. We know from our practice that sometimes the voice is there, but it's not really heard, it's not really elevated, and our aim is that young children's voice is on the same platform and the same level as every other person who makes a contribution to young children's lives. Um, so that gives you a really brief overview of the project. We're very excited about it and we really hope that you enjoy the learning event today.